It is a foggy early morning here in Naperville, Illinois. Today we are going to be starting the 2021 bass fishing season. We are headed to Lake of the Ozarks for the Toyota series. I am beyond pumped to get this 2021 season started. So we'll see you guys down there. That's ice right there. Hey guys, how's it going? So, we literally just got here to Lake of the Ozarks. And if you guys take a look, right there, right here is where the normal pool is, right up here to this rock. And as you can see, it's a little, it's a little bit low, about eight feet low. One of the I believe it's a lake record almost for how low it is. Um, you know, they had a super cold winter, so they're just pulling the lake down, trying to get electricity going for everyone that lives around here. But before I came here for this tournament, a big issue or concern was the ice. So this lake actually got frozen over for the first time in, I believe 10 years, frozen all the way over, even the main lake, everything was frozen over and and it stayed like that for a while. And I was looking at a lot of the pictures on Facebook and it was not looking good. I thought the tournament was gonna get canceled, but as we can see, we got lots of open water right here. Saw people out running um, the main lake today. Uh, we didn't fish today, but as you can see, some of the pockets, like that one right over there, still covered in ice. But uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to, ooh, that light. I'm excited to get out there and go fishing tomorrow. Uh, finally get the line wet for 2021, hopefully catch my first open water bass. But that is a wrap for tonight. Gonna eat, get my rods rigged, and we'll see you guys in the morning. First fish. First fish. Alrighty guys, uh, night before the tournament, the first day of the Toyota series at the Lake of the Ozarks. So right now just getting tackle all ready. Pretty messy, as you can see. Um, my thoughts on tomorrow, pretty excited. Uh, just want to fish really hard stay focused and just get that first fish in the boat it's going to be a game changer hopefully get that first fish early all i need is five bites tomorrow um, this water's been super cold this whole week been super tough fishing uh, in these conditions so uh, we'll see you guys in the morning for the first day of the toyota series plains division at lake of the ozarks hey guys how's it going so day one had a tough day did not catch fish had an awesome boater but getting ready to launch here for day two and today is a new day keeping a positive attitude and hopefully we're gonna catch a couple fish
Thank you, Carter. 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 Thank you, and I just want to take a couple minutes to thank everyone that made this trip possible. I ended up finishing in 46th place, and I just want to first and foremost thank my parents for making this trip possible, as well as my boaters from both days, had great boaters for both days. I want to thank Brian Partek for letting me travel with him for this event, had an awesome time with him. I want to thank his cousin Norbert for letting us stay at his house for the week that we were down there. And then I also want to thank my sponsors, uh, Biz Bates Bay Buffet, Ben Green Insurance Agency, Dobbins Rods, Shimano, um, and Gamma Line. Next event is going to be the BFL in Lacrosse uh, for the Great Lakes Division. Going to be in mid-April, so water temp's going to be pretty cold, and uh, I do think it's going to be a really fun event. So looking forward to that. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Carter Fishing, for updates on videos and anything like that, as well as the tackle box. If you guys want to see a full tackle breakdown of how I caught them at Lake of the Ozarks, make sure to go head over to the tackle box. But that is a wrap for this video, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of The Urban Angler.